pop culture, tradition, and history meet on the stage at Lincoln Center. I'm here to catch up with the musicians as they prepare for their final concert. Chamber Music Society's current new music season comes to a close tonight, but they'll surely end with a bang. The program includes contemporary works by some of the country's shining stars, including composers Yi Zhanggang, Zhu Long, and Zhao Lin, and Bright Shang. Music is a language, as a part of a culture, um, that brings people together. And when you learn the culture, and then you really feel you're at home. Pianist Gloria Chen, people player Wu Man, and the Shanghai String Quartet will be performing at the final show. Wu Man and the Shanghai Quartet were former classmates at the Central Conservatory of Music. The performers, along with the composers, will be bringing years of music history to the stage with them. Well, this is like I'm coming back home in New York. <laughs> I've been here uh, many times, but um, this is but tomorrow can be very special to me because um, I get a chance to play with the Shanghai Quartet because they're my friends. They're like, we are high school friends, literally. Um, so kind of high school reunion, but we also play music together um, and to share with the audience. So that's to me, it's quite special. So the, the pianist who this piece was commissioned for was Peter Serkin, who is a quite well-known American uh, pianist and he and I also worked on some projects together before so it's just putting those all friends together and to write a piece which is far away from uh, American culture or even even Chinese culture. The music will combine modern and traditional Chinese elements as well as some of China's most famous pieces. This piece, Red Lantern, which is very popular in China um, from a film score, and the composer uh, is very well known, Zhao Jiping, and uh, Zhao Ling, his son, and to rearrange this special for Shanghai Quartet and me. Um, and uh, all the melody, Chinese audience will immediately to know, wow, that melody, they will sing with us together. But during rehearsal, we are just laughing. We're, we're singing along with the melody. So definitely there are a lot of uh, Chinese traditional music elements in the piece. While the season is coming to a close, the musical harmony between the U.S. and China is not. I just finished an opera called, uh, based on the Chinese, the most famous Chinese novel called Dream of the Red Chamber. And it was premiered in San Francisco, the opera, and we just did another run in Hong Kong, and we're going to China. You know, I always joke, I said, well, to me, there's a, just a, there's no East and West, it's just a globe. Um, so um, I think it's important uh, to know each other, especially this time. And uh, um, uh, music actually tells everything, tells, we always say, universal language. The concert tonight will be streamed on chambermusicsociety.org at 9 p.m. Reporting for Sound Vision Journal, I'm Christy Clements.